We were like in a technological renaissance after World War II. It was just, we were just filled with uh, optimism and we had incredible new technologies like um, uh, supersonic airplanes, rockets, atomic bombs, television. And in the midst of all this was a fascination with flying saucers. We were developing rockets to, to take humans into outer space, so it didn't seem that odd that extraterrestrials might in fact be visiting here from outer space. I was raised to a uh, small town, Midwestern, middle class sensibilities, proprieties. And something in that, in that mindset, something either was or it wasn't. And it was just a simple, uh, pragmatic Midwestern attitude. And it seemed like people all over the country were reporting seeing things like flying saucers. In France, like America, the flying saucer mystery makes headlines. A young Frenchman photographed this flying saucer, or is it, from a mountainside in central France? UFOs. And at the same time, the government was making these proclamations that there's no such thing as UFOs. In Washington, ghost-like objects dart across the radar screen at the CAA Traffic Control Center at National Airport for several hours, traveling more than 100 miles an hour. Air Force jet fighters spend several hours chasing the objects plotted on the radar scope. General Sanford, Air Force Intelligence Director, confirms that the objects are not secret American weapons and reiterates the Air Force's obligation to investigate. In pursuit of this obligation, since 1947, we have received and analyzed between one and two thousand reports. UFOs are nonsense. People who see UFOs are uh, crackpots. And it became uh, a taboo, really, to talk about that. And it's like I could never understand that. I could never understand how, even as a small child, I couldn't understand what were the reasons that would make this topic unacceptable socially and politically. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. The Air Force interest in this problem has been due to our feeling of an obligation to identify and analyze to the best of our ability anything in the air that may have the possibility of threat or menace to the United States. We can say that the recent sightings are in no way connected with any secret development by any agency of the United States. The original crash at Roswell's 1947, I was born a year later. So I've grown up with flying saucers, I've grown old with flying saucers. Major Keyhole, as author of the book Flying Saucers Are Real, what is your opinion of these new sightings of unidentified objects? With all due respect to the Air Force, I believe that some of them will prove to be of interplanetary origin. 